Hello, it's another beautiful day. We are grateful to God for making it possible for us to be counted among the living. My name is Tony Abba, and it is my pleasure to say welcome to the program, A Light for the Nation. This is a daily devotional program that is brought to you by the Catholic Church. Today, Reverend Father Colin Sahibi is telling us about the journey to martyrdom. Today, we are discussing the topic, A Journey of Martyrdom. Let us begin with a short prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gift of this beautiful day. We ask you to give us the courage and the grace we need to persevere. When trials come our way, when persecution come our way, give us the grace we want to give up. We made these prayers through Christ our Lord. We shall take our reading from Matthew chapter 10, from verse 16 and following. Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. So be shrewd as serpents and simple as those. Beware of people, for they will hand you over to court and scourge you in their synagogues. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. Many of the Christians, even many of the prophets in the Old Testament, they were martyred, they were killed. A good example is the story of John the Baptist. Many of the prophets were killed. They went through a lot. Christ himself was martyred. And he's telling us, I'm sending you out in the midst of woes. The Lord knew that martyrdom will come. Stephen the Apostle was martyred. In, Luke, in Acts of Apostles, chapter 7. Up to today, many Christians are being, called, are being crucified, being tortured, going through discriminations. We suffer a lot for being Christians. But this is our calling. Christ said, many will hate you on account of my name. We must take note of that. You will be hated by all because of my name. But whoever endures to the end will be saved. Matthew 10, verse 22. You will be hated by all on account of my name. This hatred leads to persecution. Many Christians all over the world are being persecuted. Some are being killed up all everywhere you go. Christ himself, whom we are following, went through this journey of martyrdom. Why is this so? Why are Christians being persecuted? Now, the Christian message is a message of truth. When you read John chapter 14, verse 6, Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So the gospel of Christ is the gospel of truth. And the people of the world hate truth. They prefer darkness. They love falsehood. If you are working in an organization and you refuse to compromise, they will persecute you. You will go through your own martyrdom. They may sack you from that job. Many have suffered that in the past. Many are suffering it today. If you say, oh, I will not take bribe because I'm a Christian, they may remove you from that department and send you to a place where you will not have access to money. That is a form of martyrdom. Many have been, have, have been demoted because they refuse to compromise. Many have been laid off in the organization because they refuse to compromise. That is martyrdom. There are different kinds of martyrdom. There is a white martyrdom. There is a red martyrdom. White martyrdom has to do with suffering, psychological suffering that we go through for barely witness to Christ. And the Blessed Virgin Mary went through white martyrdom. We call it the dolors of Mary, the sufferings of Mary. She went through it, even though she was not uh, crucified like Jesus Christ. But she went through her suffering. She went through her crucifixion. We call that one white martyrdom. Either you go through white martyrdom or you go through red martyrdom. Those who were crucified, like the apostles, they went through it, except John the Beloved. Even John the Beloved, he went through white martyrdom. So white martyrdom has to do with the denial you go through, has to do with persecution you go through, has to go, you go through a lot of discrimination because you are a Christian. That is white martyrdom. So if you stand for truth, even your family, if you are not careful, your family will turn against you. Your spouse may turn against you. Your siblings may turn against you because you are working in NPC. For instance, you refuse to take money and they will remind you, 
your fellow co-workers, they are building houses, they are buying cars. What are you doing? Look, you should compromise, build a house for us. They will mind to pressure on you. Everyone wants you to bring money, bring money, bring money. They are pushing you to the point where you now have to begin to compromise. But we must remember we are Christians. It is better we suffer quite martyrdom and say no to that pressure. And say, I will not compromise in my office because of who I am. I am a child of God. We are to bear witness. That's why the master told us, he said, you are the salt of the earth. Matthew 5, verse 13. Verse 14 says, you are the light of the world. So the, the call to stand for truth is a call to stand for martyrdom. It's a call to face persecution. Because the world that I told you hates truth. The world prefers darkness. Christ himself said it. I have come as the light of the world. But the people of the world prefer darkness. So if you keep standing for truth, people will turn against you. You are in the police force, for instance. You say you will not take bribe. Tomorrow they will not send you to the highway to go and be, to be on the road walking. They will put in a department where you will be taking care of fires. On the song, they will even demote you if you stand on their way. Some will even kill you for standing on their way. So when you stand for truth, therefore, you must be persecuted. It's a given. That's why Christ himself said, you will be hated by all on account of my name. But what are we to do? For us to face the martyrdom, the persecution, the discrimination that will come our way because of who we are, because we are Christians, we must be prayerful. Prayer helps us to remain firm, not to give up. Challenges will come. Even when they sack you from your office because you stand for truth, because you refuse to compromise, the Lord will take care of you. If you have faith, believing in Christ, who said, come to me, all you labor and overbody, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11, verse 28 to 30. He said, come to me, all you labor and overbody. The Lord will take care of your situation. You may suffer for some time, but the Lord will not abandon you. As long as you have faith in Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Lord will not abandon you. So this call of martyrdom is a call to stand for truth. We will suffer. We will go to trials because of who we are. Another means that enables us to triumph over martyrdom when we go through it is that we have to support one another. If a fellow Christian is suffering discrimination in his office, what do you do as a Christian? Let us support him. Let us support her. Let us defend one another. Let us insist on what is right in our, organ in our organizations. Let us insist on what is right in our families, in our neighborhood, in the church, and everywhere we find ourselves. So, in our, the, so the society will grow. Because it would not stand for truth because of fear of being martyred, because of fear of, of, of suffering persecution and trials. Then we cannot change the world. We can only change the world if we are willing and be ready to die for the sake of Christ. We must be willing to die because this is why we are here, to bear witness to Christ. In bearing witness to Christ, the world will hate us. When they hate us, then they will persecute us. Let us not be afraid. We have a duty and a responsibility to stand for truth. Truth is our motto. Truth we must, is the gospel. The gospel of Christ is the gospel of truth. The gospel of righteousness. The gospel of justice and fairness. Therefore, let us be willing to lay down our lives if we have to die. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, we thank you for the Christian journey. Give us the grace to carry on the martyrdom that we go through every day. Sustain us let us give up. Help us to persevere to the end. And may God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Reverend Father Colin Sahigbe is of the Order of Preachers, guiding us in today's reflections. I believe he has been able to inspire you, to make you understand that there is a journey to martyrdom. And whatever we do, whatever treatment we receive, whatever persecution we get, we should know that we are on a journey. And this journey is the journey that, that, we, that has taken some to martyrdom. And we as Christians, we need to also know that, yes, our faith is strong. Yes, we have a God that lives forever. And whatever happened to us, God is in control. If you have questions and you want to 
share with us. Please do not forget, send a short message to us on the numbers displayed on your screen. You can also take advantage of our social media handles, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Let's follow the conversation on those platforms. As we go out today, please be of help to somebody. Bye for now. Have a lovely day. Oh!